TV. Today is the 8th of uh, February uh, 2023. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. So guys, uh, the ruling ZPF party has reportedly crafted a cocktail of anti opposition strategies ahead of this year's polls among them being to steal national identity ID cards belonging to opposition party members to ensure they do not vote on polling day. Newsday is also learned that other tactics include creating no go areas for opposition activists in rural areas where the ruling party has been enjoying unfettered dominance since independence in 1980. President Emerson Nangagwa's party is also purportedly passing in people from rural and peri urban constituencies to register as voters in urban areas. An audio that has gone viral on social media platforms, a voice alleged to be that of the NPF Midlands Provincial Secretary for Legal Affairs, Energy Nube, is heard telling party supporters to befriend opposition sympathizers so that they steal their IDs to block them from voting in the forthcoming polls. He was reportedly addressing participants at a Hepage Temple School of Ideology workshop for the NPF members at the party's Kwekwe district office at the weekend. If you are in a relationship with someone from the opposition and you know that he or she will not vote for ZANPF, make sure that on the day of the election, the person should have a sleepover at your place and steal the ID card so he or she won't vote. Elections are a game of numbers. Make sure that opposition supporters do not vote on election day. Even your father, if he is from the opposition, please steal his identity documents so that he cannot vote. Obviously, said, Last week, the NPF allegedly passed in its, uh, in its members from Koromonzi to Harare to register them as voters. Some of them were left stranded after the bus that brought them to the capital did not return to pick them up. Citizens calling for change, Triple C, Vice President Tendai Biti, told Newsday that the opposition was aware of the NPF's shenanigans to register its supporters outside their constituencies in order to rig the polls. We are aware of the NPF uh, tactics. They've been passing people to register in in areas they do not stay. The law is very clear. People should be registered where they stay. This is an old age tactic by ZNPF. They did that in 2013 and 2018, but we are going to audit the voters' role. We are going to add, uh, to every address to see if the people registered they stay at a given address. We did that in 2018, and we discovered that about 200 people in Harare North were registered at an open stand, but they said, but then PF political commissar Mike Bima dismissed the allegations. We have instructed our provincial structures to go full trotter in encouraging our supporters to register to vote in areas they stay. We are happy that some provinces have taken heed of the call and our supporters are already registering to vote. The party is already in campaigning mode and we have devised strategies to make sure we have a resounding victory, Bima said. In a leaked audio last year, former state security Minister Owen Nube encouraged NPF supporters to create no go areas for opposition supporters. Violence on opposition supporters has already started with pockets of skirmishes being reported across the country. Political analyst Romeo Chasara said if the playing field does not change, Zimbabwe risks having another disputed election. This will have a negative effect on the image of the country and the economy. The current problems bedeliving the country will just persist. It is a vicious cycle that will come for every five years until the NPF reforms. So guys, that's the latest Yanzi. Kana ushera ane munu, ono ziwa kuti, ano sapota opposition political party, musue voting day, one day such tupa, so that he or she won't be able to vote. <laughs> Yeah, Paraiba. And I go area in a Angara Ingo report is an old attic, you know, uh, Tinetunga Jimbo to uh, opposition political parties. Give a single the canon. That's the reason why I just zone up Patriotica, Marod Blocks, Marodi, which Blocka Marodi, which Kanda Matombo. At some point, Takona Motavacha Missa is to put one footy, right? I put a for a windscreen in Motayo. I mean, those are areas whereby, as an NPF would be saying, we don't want to see you here. Kuno kwa atidi kuona opposition, kumirai uko, kuno kwa atidi kuona. Saka, you know, it won't be free and fair. It won't be free and fair because every political party, in a right, ya kuyu enda, every constituency, every ward, which campaign. But part of the world is they are reserved for the ruling party only. You cannot go there and the police won't be doing anything. The only thing the police will do is to disperse the people. And when I could Zimbabwe, he is Msangano. I think Zaga Kuitiga. 
who wins in this instance zanu pf who wins because psanga no ngori suppose unge uchitika une wato nzi cancelled aku sinam psanga no repo and you'll be lucky again if the police grant you to have that meeting in that area kachinji kachu ma police anu ngo dinaya ngo jano atina main power so ngo pelas wakadaro so gonna be keeping a close eye on the campaigns which are happening uh, starting soon of course soon uh, we're gonna see my political parties are manjinji i the road campaigning uh, for their respective uh, political parties which are winning my elections ariko when i july or august and i do agree one thing with uh, this is that uh, election day is about numbers it's about numbers it's about people who are gonna be voting on that day and it's like a kosha go to a nova and they want to register to vote shakare but now vote on the voting day yes you can have numbers per social media but on the ground there are some numbers apana apana and it is one on the end they want to register to vote that's what i kosha because at the end of the day if you don't vote political party no go chida i can't say in my elections because no go snap race to vote some people are good at complaining but deep down they really don't want to do the right thing which is register and vote on the voting day so guys this is the daily news breaking news everyday news on prince miller and the tv remember to like share comment and follow remember kuti my tactics is a anta za kushanda kana vanhu vakaregister kuvota yes makavota no hungwaru hapana tactic inoshanda like what happened in zambia takazvona vanhu kuti people voted vanhu vakabuda no hwando havo vakano vota saka if people vote on the voting day i don't see kuti rigging inikwasa kubudirira kana kuti um whatever tactics they have zvinokwasa kubudirira because vanhu vanongo vabuda nehwando havo vachivotera party vanongo vachida and so be keeping you guys up to date here remember to like share comment and follow daily news breaking news everyday news this is principal in the tv bless up